everyone, today I am going to play around with the new Game of Thrones collection by Urban Decay. I'm very excited. While I'm filming this, I have seen the very first episode of the, you know, newest season. No spoilers. No spoilers below, please. I know we're not all Game of Thrones fans here in the world, but for those of you who are a Game of Thrones fan, I thought it'd be really fun to try out this collection. And I haven't really tried out a new makeup collection since my MAC Spring Boom Boom Bloom collection video. You know, like just a dedicated video. So I thought it could be fun today to try some new things. So this is the PR kit I did receive. I checked on the website this morning and it looks like they're sold out at the moment, but it says that it's coming back. So this lid just lifts straight off and this is what we see underneath. This is the palette here. So we have this, I'll show that last. Also in here we have a drawer, which I didn't actually see at first. So comes out and in here we have a bunch of other products so we've got some brushes we've got a highlighter palette we've got some lipsticks some eyeliners so I will try to use as much of the collection as possible I'm actually thinking of doing two different eyes today just to like test some of the different colors this is how the palette looks this is a really cool collector's edition kind of product if you are a Game of Thrones fan it opens up like this and you have a little note and also your mirror. So you can pause it and read that if you would like. And then it opens up in here to reveal a pop-up, which is so cool. It looks like this. And then there's some more writing, you know, Game of Thrones stuff. I won't bore you in case you are not a fan. You can look up the pictures on the website. Then through the side, it's like a little book. It opens out and I think this, yeah, it does. It comes all the way out, which is really handy. So these are the kind of colors we are working with today. I actually really like the color scheme. Urban Decay, I love, love, love the quality of Urban Decay products, their eyeshadows. Some of their eyeshadow palettes don't really appeal to me a lot. Like I really love their Naked palettes, that range, Naked Heat, all of those kind of ones. I've loved a few random, you know, eyeshadow palettes I've put out, but sometimes I'm like, eh, sometimes I'm in love. You know, this one, I love the colors. You can see it's split into four kind of sections. So you've got like Hard Home, Winterfell, King's Landing, and Bay of Dragons. So like, you know, different houses and everything. I especially love the bottom two. They are probably my favorite followed by this one here. This one, I'm just not a huge fan of icy blues, silvery colors in general, but that's pretty good going. Like a majority of these shades I'm obsessed with. I'm actually going to save the brushes. I was going to use them, but it's just not the kind of thing I will keep and appreciate. I would rather gift them to one of you guys. So if you would like to go into win these, then you can check the down bar for instructions on how to enter. And I'll also send you guys some other fun makeup as well. All right, so I'm going to prime my eyelids using a little bit of Eden by Urban Decay. Pretty like concealed and carved out my eyebrows and everything. I haven't filled in my eyebrows with anything. These are still just tinted. I do actually have a video on how to tint your eyebrows and eyelashes at home. If you want to watch it, you can um, check the down bar. But I actually got these ones done at Benefit. I usually do it myself at home though. I'm just using this angled eye brush to blend out the primer. Okay, so I'm going to start with my crease blender brush. Okay, I'm going to start with the shade House Lannister which is this one just here St -bar. straight off the bat we are very pigmented it's almost like a pinky terracotta undertone very peachy it's very pretty actually a really nice color just for everywhere for um day to day you can shut this all over the lid and crease now i'm just wipe itch they'll take a new brush this is a tulip crease brush from the marble collection it is still available on exo beauty shop it's just a really nice marble effect there's only a couple of matte shades actually looking at this whole palette but they're quite good matte ones you've got this matte one this matte one this one up here. I guess I'll take that one. How do I even say it? I'm really bad. Like, I watch Game of Thrones, but I don't soak in pronunciation ever. Nymeria? I don't know. So this is going to be darker. I don't know how this is going to work out doing two different looks, but hey, we're rolling. So pigmented. You can see where I'm just like smashing it on. It is so intense. Holy shit, this is pigmented. So I'm just doing my best to blend that out. It's quite a dark brown. Going all the way up because I'm going to do my concealing and everything later anyway, so I can tidy up the edges. These eyeshadows are ridiculously rich. I don't think you understand. I feel like they're even more pigmented than other Urban Decay eyeshadows, if that's possible. I'm just going to take a brush, hopefully it doesn't really have much on it, and just blend the edges. 
So both of those shades are really pretty. One of them's blatantly much darker than the other. Okay, I'm gonna take the shade Lannister Red, which is this one right here, just on a little pencil brush. And I'm going to pick that on my inner corner. This is such a nice shade. It looks a lot more red in the pan than what it actually comes off on the eye. It's much more wearable on the eye. It's basically just a super like rich chocolate color. And then I'm gonna take another brush and just mix together House Lannister and Lannister Red. And I'm just going to brush that through the lower part of that crease and just blend everything. Those shades though, those are pretty. They're really nice too because they're warm but they're not like the same as every other warm palette if you know what I mean. Like they're still a bit different. Then on the other side, I'm going to take the shade Weirwood Leaves which is actually a kind of satin shimmer dark purplish shade and once again it's kind of coming up a little bit more um, bright on camera but it's like a very deep rich purple it's almost matte is it matte i don't think it i feel like it's satin i don't know i'm gonna do this in a similar place i'm just using the same brush on my eye yeah it's just got this slight satin shimmer finish it's very subtle like it literally almost looks matte it's just got almost like a duochrome of like a brighter undertone that bounces back with the lights the longest time since I've done a halo eye. I feel like the more you blend this shade the more the undertone comes out, the brighter purple undertone. I'm just gonna take a little bit of Nymeria, however you say it, and just blend the edges again. This side is much more smoky and like more evening, much more like smoldery. I feel like I kind of want to use this shade on the darker more evening side. This is called Stormborn and I'm going to take it on a little dense shadow brush like this one thanks for beauty so i'm going to try it dry and just see how it applies it's a very like chunky shimmery color with blue and purple kind of reflect to it and i'm just going to place this kind of like on the edges of this eye where i've started blending it into the ball of my eye it's very pretty i feel like we can make it more intense with some setting spray so i'm just going to spray my brush and wet it and then go back in and do the same thing straight away on my brush like it's way more intense which is pretty standard so you can get like a very chunky glittery effect if you apply it by itself without the wet brush or if you wet it it just goes a bit more like liquid and brighter i'm just like wiping off my brush cleaning off my brush and i'm going to do something similar on the other side but i think i will try red keep which is this most amazing copper like the most amazing copper i've ever seen and just apply that on the edges this one's more of like just a normal shimmer it's not as like chunky as the purple i just used and i am obsessed with that shade look at it on my finger if i swatch it for you it's so pretty it's like a pumpkin copper mixed together and this is just dry but i'm just gonna leave it dry once again if you want it more intense just wet your brush but like i love how it looks just as is i'm taking my pencil brush and i'm just gonna wet this as well and I'm going to take the shade King's Landing, which is this one right here. It's a beautiful, like, light golden shade. And I'm just going to pop that right in the center of those shades. That is to die for. It's so stunning. I'm just going to mix the copper and the gold on my brush. And just kind of, like, go outwards a little bit. Just to blend everything real seamlessly. And then to highlight my brow bone, I'm going to take that King's Landing shade once more. And just pop that under the highest point under my brow bone. Actually, I'm gonna drag it all the way up. And I have to just like highlight my inner corner last because I'm still gonna do my concealer. Ugh. Use your words, Shannon. Nah. I'm just touching up some of those matte shades just to make sure everything's blended really well with those shimmers. So the only thing I wish is I wish there was like one more like super dark matte shade just something that I could really define with. There's some super dark shimmers, but like, I don't, I would prefer a super dark matte to a super dark shimmer. So we're going to do some stuff underneath too, but that's that eye done. Now we've just got to finish off the purplish eye. So I've just wet my brush and I'm going to take the shade Hard Home, which is a silver, but it's not as like blue. Like this one's more of a blue silver, whereas this one's more like neutral silver, if that makes any sense. It is wet and I'm just going to pack that right on the center of my eyelid just making sure to blend this really well because this is like quite a smoldery look on this side like they're both very similar but this side's more like nighttime and just like smoky you know so that's how that looks it's actually a really pretty silver once you put it on it's like a gunmetal silver maybe because i wet it it's a little bit darker i don't know and then i'm going to take a little bit of bend the knee 
which is such a good name. Who's your favorite Game of Thrones character, guys? Mine's Daenerys, I'm really basic. I'm just going to press that right on top of the silver to give it a reflect. It's like a duochrome lilac-y shade. That looks so cool. And then I'm just gonna touch up the mattes one more time. I feel like to highlight this side, like, I might just use the same King's Landing shade, but mix in a little bit of hard home just to balance it out a little bit and not be too golden. Cause there's not really a good highlight color that's like a cooler tone. I don't want to just go like silver under there. So there's one eye. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like there should be a cooler tone matte shade as well. Cause they're all very warm matte shades in this palette. So like, I feel like this is a bit too warm on this eye and the crease and everything, but it still looks pretty unique. So. Whatever. We're gonna go ahead and do our priming and everything now. I might actually just quickly do it off camera just since I've just been talking a load. Might use my Vanish um, Seamless Foundation. I did do a first impression on this. I will link it below for you guys with my CoverGirl True Blend Base Business Skin Smoothing Primer. I'm still trying to figure out how much I like this, but yeah, you can see my first impression down below. There's like pros and cons. So if you've been thinking about trying it, definitely check out that video because this is like a hundred dollars here in New Zealand. <laughs> Crazy. The RB. Okay, so I've got my base on. I also use the matte contour kit and my cover effects powder. I use the same concealer as I used um, around my brows, which was the Soft Matte Complete Concealer by NARS. And I've got a little speck of brow gel. So before I do the lower lash line, I think I'm just gonna swatch the four eyeliners for you. So first of all, we have the Night King, and this is how the packaging looks. It's like a gradient effect. This is a really rich, deep, blue with a bit of shimmer in it. It's almost like a greeny kind of blue. It's so pretty. Next up we have Winterfell Snow and this one is more of, oh okay, a white color. Makes sense. Oh, it's got a purple duochrome to it. Oh, I broke it. I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera. It's like a blue and pink reflect. You can't really see the pink reflect, but trust me, it's like a pinky lilac-y color. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of this just right on that inner corner as my inner corner highlight. It's very creamy and pigmented how it looks. You can see a little bit more of the lilac on my actual eye, I think. I'm gonna do a little bit just over top over the very ball of my eye. And here's what we have at Lannister Gold, which I'm assuming is a gold, yes. Oh, it's a really nice one. It's like a taupe gold. Um, very pale and not too yellow. I'm gonna put this in my waterline and also a little bit on that inner corner. Blending that in with my pencil brush so it's not too bright. It is a very bright and pigmented formula. And I just wanna like darken it a little bit with that eyeshadow just so that it doesn't look out of place. This one in particular is a yes for me. Like I feel like this is just a really easy color you could wear for every day. And then the final one we have here is called Dragon Smoke. What on earth is this gonna be like? Okay, it's just like a black with a little purpley ready kind of reflex to it which I guess I will use in the waterline on the other side. I actually really like the way that looks. I don't usually do a dark you know lash line anymore waterline. Okay now I'm going to take the shade Weirwood Leaves once again this one right here and just kind of like run that underneath just pretty close to the lashes if I can and then underneath the other eye I'm going to take Casterly Rock which is like a dark bronze and do the same thing. And then I'm just going to blend in a little bit of the Lannister Red just on the outer part, just so it blends nicer. So this eyeshadow palette, I love the quality. I think the quality is amazing. I really actually like the colors. This eye actually is growing on me a lot. Which one do you guys like better? I'm gonna take a little bit of, mm, no, I'm gonna take this one again, the darker purple, just dry, and run that right on that inner part of my eye underneath, just to add a little pop of color. And then under the eye on the other side, I'm gonna take a little bit of Dothraki, which is like a kind of antique gold, and just put a little touch of this just on that inner part on the other side. Oh, that's so pretty. And a little bit of King's Landing, which is the um, bright white gold, just to brighten it up a little. I'm in love. I can't tell which side I like more. All right, I'm going to pop on some mascara and lashes and I will be right back. All right, guys, so I have my lashes and falsies on. I use Huda Beauty Jade, I think they're called. So that's all finished. Next up, I am going to try out the little highlighter palette. I haven't actually opened this and had a look at it just yet. So there's three different shades. So it's called the Mother of Dragons Highlight Palette. And it's got a really cool like dragon scale packaging, as you can see. And it opens up and you have the three eggs and a holographic packaging and three different colors. So I think I'm gonna use the middle one today. This 
bronze one's definitely too dark for my skin tone and this one is very bright pink I'm not honestly that blown away by the look of the palette and even like the pattern on the inside I feel like it would have looked cooler if it was actually just like completely scaled rather than this like scaly egg it just looks kind of like an easter egg or something random like it doesn't really look it looks kind of like cheap. I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. So this is Viserian. Is that how you say it? Viserian? This middle one. I'm going to use it with my um, detail face brush. Yeah, it is real pretty. I like the color. But I don't think I would buy the whole palette just for this shade. It's very blinding. Very, very blinding. Such a pretty color though. I love, love, love the way it looks like really buffed in like this. Just out of interest, I want to see what these look like. If you are a lighter skin tone, you could definitely wear this one as an eyeshadow. Or if you're a deeper skin tone, it'll be perfect because I honestly think like any of these shades would work for you if you had a darker complexion than me. The pink blended out a lot is actually pretty, like not as scary as I thought it would be. But still not really my cup of tea. So that's my opinion on that. Okay, now we've got four lipsticks, which I'm nervous about because I feel like they're weird colors. First, we have Cersei Lannister, and it comes in a gold packaging, and it is a bronze lipstick, so it's almost like a blue undertone. It's really weird. Very comfortable on the lips, just not my favorite color whatsoever. But if you do like a kind of shimmery or unique lip color, it's real weird because it's definitely got this kind of like blue undertone. It's real hard for you guys to see on camera. Um, on camera it just looks more warm, but on like in real life it's quite, I don't know, zombie-ish. Like it kind of makes me look dead. It's a very unique shade. Not necessarily like super wearable, but some people like that. I just don't really like that. Next up we have the Daenerys color. And this one, it comes in a red packaging. Okay, this looks stunning. This is a metal finish. I actually love this. Like, even though it's a metal finish, which isn't my favorite finish, I prefer like satin, creamy, or matte. It's not like super shimmery or anything. It just looks like almost glossy. Not with the eye makeup. I mean, maybe if both sides were like this, like that could be pretty cute for like summer. Not with this side though like this is very ursula from the little mermaid <laughs> oh my gosh and I, I thought this was a lipstick my bad okay this is a cheek stain which i would do before powder so i won't be trying this one today i'm just gonna give it to one of you guys one of you guys can have it it is the um cheek and lip stain i could try it on my lips but i'll just give it to one of you next up we have white walker <laughs> terrifying Ooh. okay this is a comfort matte and surprisingly i thought it was gonna be blue this looks cool. A deep burgundy. Oh my gosh, it's so similar to like Wabi Sabi by Exo Beauty, which is like obviously a favorite because I made it. Goes on very even. Terrible application, but a beautiful shade. I really like this one. This is definitely another favorite. You can see it's got that like bright undertone, but it's very deep and very sexy. Once again, maybe with this side. Oh yeah, that would be a really nice evening look, especially if I did like a winged eyeliner as well. And then the final color is a nude kind of peach by the looks of it. It's called Sansa Stark. It is a sheer formula. Okay, this could be good. Yeah, just a really nice everyday peachy nude color. That's that sheer formula, which isn't normally my favorite kind of texture, but it's actually quite pretty. So I've just built it up with a few layers. Ooh, it's melted. <laughs> I'm gonna go put him in the fridge. The actual color itself is actually really nice. I actually quite like it. If you like that glossy look, like it's perfect. And that's probably the best one with either of these looks. Like that looks really cute. So it does that. Like I feel like it just goes with whatever. Cool tones, warm tones. And I feel like almost any skin tone could pull it off. Like if you have a deeper skin tone, just do like a sheerer layer. Or of course, lip pencil, like a deeper lip pencil. And then just like, fill it in and it'll give that really flush like light lip you know like very pouty very kissable just gonna finish off with some setting spray and that is how our makeup is looking i love the highlighter i wish it just came as a single like i wish they just released three different highlighters because then you could just pick which one you wanted like the palette, I just wouldn't reach for it, you know? Like, I would just honestly buy this as a single. If any of you guys have a dupe for that formula and the look of it and everything, the color, if Urban Decay does do a color just like this, just by itself, 
hit me up with it because I will purchase it. I love it. It's almost like a very bronzy gold on my skin tone, if you know what I mean. Like it's not a bright light gold or yellow gold. It's like just a really nice undertone because golds can be quite tricky. So I hope this helped you guys out. And if you did purchase this collection, maybe it can give you some inspo on a couple of different looks you can create with the palette. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you did enjoy it, please thumbs up and comment below and let me know if you liked this idea where I did two different looks in one video or if you would just prefer like a single look. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.